Hello everyone, Science Viking here, and it's time to continue the Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX. We need to find the princess again. Well, she's obviously not in this room, so let's look around. I wonder where she went. And you know, she was talking about wanting to go to town, so let's see if she went that way. That sounds familiar. That song. I've heard it somewhere before. That sweet voice. It's Dagger. She's upstairs. Okay. Well, we know how to get upstairs. We take the lift. Sorry. Only authorized personnel can use the lift. Okay. Man, I've got to get past this guy somehow. Maybe if I disguise myself as a guard, he'll let me through. Okay. Let's go back this way for now. And if we go down these stairs, we can find this guy who appears to be sleeping on the job. Either that or just vigorously nodding his head. Hey, wake up! Huh? I just saw a suspicious character wandering around. What? Where? Upstairs, follow me. No, in here. All right, you bastard, show yourself. Hey, what are you doing? That was easy. And now we have a guard costume. I should be able to get in, get on the lift now. Now let's see what this guy has to say to us now. Good day, sir. The lift is running fine as always. Shows what you know. Also, in putting on the guy's outfit, Zidane appears to have also put on his nose. I'm not sure how he managed that. Maybe Zidane just carries around a fake nose all the time, but if you look carefully when Zidane is in the guard outfit, he has the guard's huge nose. And we just keep going up. So this is actually a really nice looking area. Let's see what this guy has to say. The song is very peculiar. And all the way up to the top. And Zidane scares all the birds away. Way to go, ruining other people's fun, Zidane. Nice song. How did you get up here? This is a restricted area. Come on, I do this for a living. Oh, yeah. You're a member of Tantalus. It must have been easy for you. Who? What of you? Hey, there's a telescope. Let's go check it out. Come on. Hmm. And we can look around and see various sites. For instance, here we have the Arabs Mountains. Those are the mountains that surround Bermesia. I guess the best way to get there is through the cavern at the base. And Southgate. Oh, there's Southgate. I wonder if they started repairing it yet. It'll probably take a while to fix everything. And the Arabs Mountains again. Alexandria is beyond these mountains. I bet they're looking for us. 
And then a mysterious forest. Hey, there's a chocobo. Maybe I can catch a chocobo in that forest. Whoop. There it is. Ah, almost had it. The Siebel River. That river flows right by Southgate. You can get to the gate by walking along the river. And Marshland. There's probably a lot of weird things living there. Maybe I should check it out sometime. Let me see. At least I think that's Dagger asking you <laughs> the telescope. Yeah, that's what that is. How's the view? I've made so much trouble for everyone. Uncle Sid knew everything. That's why he asked Tantalus to get me out of Alexandria. No matter how hard I try, I'm always a step behind in everything. I'm so helpless. What's wrong? Zidane? Why did you help me come here, to Lindblom? Is it because your boss ordered you to? I just wanted to help you, that's all. The boss didn't agree with me. So I ended up leaving the band. Really? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It isn't the first time I've left. Zidane. Yeah? Oh, um... How were you planning to abduct me? We were gonna put you to sleep with sleeping weed, then kidnap you. You're so candid about this, Zidane. It's mostly used for kids, but a big dose could knock out an adult just as easily. I guess you didn't need it, since I came along on my own. Hey, would you mind giving me some? I've had a hard time sleeping lately. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You might get addicted. Maybe all you need is some company, eh? I'm just gonna let that one speak for itself. Oh, please. Do you think I'm that naive? <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. Uh, um, that song? <laughs> Were you singing it in the village of Dolly? Yes. So you were up that night. What is that song, anyway? I don't know. I can't even remember when I, where I learned it. I sing it whenever I feel sad or lonely. For some reason, it comforts me and reminds me that I'm not alone. I guess it's a mystical song. Let me hear it again. And we hear the song over a montage of various people going about various kinds of business in the city. Steiner has discovered the weapon shop. Maybe he took some people's advice about needing to upgrade his armor, who knows. And he's offended that someone would speak ill of the Queen. Just you wait, Steiner. You're, you're gonna have some egg on your face. And two kids, playing with action figures. And Vivi walks up. Royal action figures. Those black mages were like toys, being controlled by someone. And Vivi questions about his own existence. The sky looks ominous. Something is about to happen. Sir Fratley, where are you? I need you. Okay. It should work now. Sire, it's no good. What? We can't stabilize the engine system. We can't run for more than ten minutes. Darn it! 
My mind hasn't been the same since I became an Agla. Hey, Dagger. So, when do you want to go on that airship cruise? Um, Zidane, you asked someone else. Uh, okay, Zidane, it's a little bit of advice. One girl at a time. Seriously. Just... This is not like sending out job applications. You don't want to have, like, several of them going on at once, because when you do, stuff like this happens. Never mind. Well, it sounds like you've asked the wrong girl. Wait, I, I can explain. Why bother? Go have a wonderful time. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. You screwed that one up pretty bad. I say this as a connoisseur of screwing things up very badly. Okay, how about this? If I get first place in tomorrow's hunting festival, you and me will go out on a date. How does that have anything to do with me? Come on, please? Fine. Okay, it's a date. Maybe tradition, but this is a dreadful festival. So many lives lost every year, especially because of him. Hardly. The festival is a test of men who have died. Tingle with excitement every year. This is the last carriage. All the preparations for the festival of the hunt are complete. Very good. Now wait for the signal. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, was that the signal? The fangs have been freed. What? We haven't even received the minister's authorization. We believe they're going to release him any minute. All right, release the moose before they let him loose. Hurry. Yeah, they're just releasing monsters into the city. There's no way this could end badly. All is ready. All right, stand by. This year's specimen is perfect. Nothing can stop it. Ha 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 ha, what power! Hey, make him stop. It's too early to let him loose. How? I have no control over him. Damn it! Open the gate at once. The gate's gonna fall apart. Go! Zagnol! Sedane. Please, Princess, you might actually enjoy. Okay. I wonder if Sedane has improved his skills. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Alright, let's begin. Festival of the Hunt. Hunters on your mark. Ferocious beasts swarm about the castle town. The bigger the catch, the higher the score. The time limit is 12 minutes. Use air cabs to go to other districts. Once you lose in a battle, you will be forced to retire. The winner will be crowned Master Hunter and receive the Hunter's Ring. Who will come out on top? What do you wish for your Hunter's Reward? I'll go with Gil all the way. I'll take an add-on, which is an accessory. And you, Mr. Vivi? What? I never signed up. I thought you would do pretty well, so I signed you up. Don't worry, with your black magic, it'll be a piece of cake. I don't know. That was very inconsiderate of you, Zidane. Oh. How about this? If you win, I'll fix you up for a date with Dagger. Zidane, you and I need to sit down and have a bit of a talk, because this is getting ridiculous. Me and the princess? Shh! Keep it down! What was that? You just mentioned the princess! And, and you've set Steiner off. What evil deeds are you plotting now? It's nothing, right, Vivi? Y yeah. So, what would you like for your reward? Oh, um, I'll take a card. 
Okay, Gil, an add-on, and a card. The festival will begin shortly. You all have different starting points. Hunter Zidane will start in the theater district. Hunter Freya will start in the industrial district. And Hunter Vivi will start in the business district. So, we need to head to the air cab, same way we got in. The air cab bound for the theater district is now something I didn't get to read. Such rudeness! Princess, they are treating you like a common. Oh, hush. We get a great view from here. Hmm, you're right. I can see the entire town. Princess, look! Master Vivi is also participating. I can't believe it. He seemed reluctant earlier. Master Vivi, the princess and I are rooting for you! Come on, Vivi! You can do it! No! Master Vivi! Look out! Oh gosh, I can't watch anymore. You can't win just by running. A good offense is the best defense. Attack! It's easy to say when you're the guy who wears so much armor that he clanks it up there. You can't lose to that monkey today. Yes! That's it! Now is your chance! One more time! Steiner is clearly enjoying himself. Vivi! Behind you! Yes, go! Steiner is clearly having fun. And... So here's the way this works. We're, obvi we're on a time limit, 12 minutes. And there are monsters, which we can fight. You actually run into them on the field and initiate a battle with them. You do not receive experience points for the battles during the festival of the hunt, but you do receive hunter points, which contribute to your overall score. Whoever has the most hunter points at the end of the festival wins. Now, here's something significant. Zidane, Vivi, and Freya are all party members. What that means is that no matter who of them wins, we, the player, get whatever their reward was. Which means that if Zidane wins, we get money. If VV wins, we get a card, a rare card, admittedly, but that still isn't much of a reward. And if Freya wins, we get an accessory that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get for quite a while yet. What this means is, you actually want Freya to win. Obviously, having Zidane win is good for, uh, it's just kind of good for bragging rights, but you really want Freya to win. Now, honestly, making Freya win isn't all that hard, because pretty much, Freya will win if Zidane doesn't. However, there are some tricks you can use to lock it in. It is also possible, obviously, to engineer a situation where BB wins, and in the Steam version, there's even an achievement for doing so. I will probably demonstrate how to do that as bonus footage attached to the end of this video. But for now, I'm going to demonstrate what I consider to be the optimum way of doing this, which is to make it so that Freya wins. Yep, you can't go into the hideout. Never tried that before, actually. Let's kill this last trick, Sparrow. If you really are trying to win, it's possible to become impatient during the uh, pre-battle camera movement because the time continues running during that. And Freya is leading. However, the leadership will probably change hands a couple of times before the end of the 
us. We have basically cleared out the theater district. I am heading to the business district. Honestly, 12 minutes actually feels really generous. And... Took down that Moo. And now it comes for us. But I think we'll be slightly more challenging prey than what appears to be a giant rodent. It is also interesting, though. There is an entirely unique combat background. The com this combat background is not used for anything else ever. It's just for the festival. And yes, Trick Sparrows know the Drain spell. And Vivi is leading. Another Moo to take out. One significant thing to remember when manipulating the final score is that I'm fairly certain the score totals cannot change during a battle. So if the time runs out while you are in a battle, then whoever was leading when you entered that battle will win. And here's a fang to take out. Theoretically, you could win this battle just by having Zidane run in circles for several minutes, but I don't really do that. And I'm actually not certain what happens if you are, um, if you lose one of these fights. I've never had that happen before. And Vivi is now leading with 100 points. It's impressive, he doesn't usually perform that well. And that fang is menacing the civilians, so let's take it out. We're already down to almost half the time. And Zidane leads kill this Trick Sparrow as well. Now the gill you would get from at winning as Zidane is pretty useful. You get a few thousand, but obviously you can fight enemies to farm for money. And Vivi is leading again. He does not normally perform this well. However, now we see Vivi being chased by a monster. If we kill that monster, Vivi's score will continue to increase. And now we're at the stage where, if we specifically want to engineer Freya winning, we have to do things in a particular way. The first step is to just kind of run around until Freya is in the lead. At this point, this far into the fight, only Zidane, Vivi, and Freya can lead. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep running around. Now, I've never talked to this guy before. Let's see what happens. You'll be disqualified if you leave town during the competition, so I can't go out there. No surprise. And Freya leads with 134 points. Now that Freya leads, we want to go to one particular place. Which is up here. Okay, 
And... Huh? Normally there's a monster here. I am deeply confused. Why can't I participate? Good luck, Zidane! Um, I am keeping this footage no matter what happens, even if I don't keep the rest of this take, because there is that monster we saw earlier, the Zagnol, is supposed to appear here and be menacing these two kids, but it isn't, and I don't know why or what happened. This has literally never happened in all the years I've been playing this game. What the hell? And now it's here! Uh, okay! Well, with 3 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock... It, maybe it's that there can't be more than 4 minutes left when you enter the area. Today, Help! Hey, big boy, turn around. Damn, you're ugly. Allow me to help. Okay, but I get to finish him. I've got a date with Dagger on the line. You're ridiculous. Fine. As you wish. Now, the reason why I wanted to make sure and fight this guy is two things. One. Three things. One, I wanted to demonstrate that this guy exists and show you what this fight was. Two. Because there are some unique things you can steal from it. And three. Because this is our first, like, the Needle Fort, which is a weapon for a character we haven't met yet. And four, to show off some unique abilities that Freya has. Freya is a Dragoon. Her unique command is Jump, and she also has the Dragon ability set, but she doesn't actually have any active abilities. Now, if you select the Jump command, she does this. This removes her as a target, so the enemy can't attack her, and attacks that hit the entire party will still not hit her. And I'm gonna have to name this a potion, because ow. This can be useful to guarantee that she survives the three parts of the Also, while she's in the end, when she comes down, after a certain amount of time, she will come back down, spear first on an enemy, causing that much damage. Now, for this strategy of ensuring that Freya wins the Festival of the Hunt, there is one particular thing you want to do, which is you do not win this fight, but you also do not lose it. You just stall until the time runs out during this fight. When that happens, the points for defeating this monster will not be awarded at all. Since no one gets the points, whoever was leading before we started this fight, in this case Freya, will win the Festival of the Hunt. actually did some impressive damage. And we got the Mithril Gloves. I'm not going to stress about stealing from this guy, but like I said, he does have some useful stuff. That's why I wanted to make sure I'm fighting. I know that's for to use a potion on herself. And he's out of things to steal, so now we really do just wait. Only for about a minute or so. And Zidane's injured again. I think that the Zagnol knows how much of a jerk Zidane is in this part, and decided he wants to punish him. Also, Freya is in the back row. The reason for this is because Jump is considered to be a long-range attack, and does the same damage as the character in the back row that it does in the front. Oh. Looks like the Zagnol will probably get one more attack, and since everyone is defending, it probably won't do too much damage, and then the fight will be over. Oh, and it missed! The time is up! The winner is... Freya, with 148 points! And Zidane's unhappy. That was marvelous! All of you! 148 points. Congratulations! We 
grant you the Master Hunter and your reward. We receive the Coral Ring and the Master Hunter. Like I said, no ma as long as one of Zidane, Vivi, or Freya wins, we receive the reward. My hat's off to you, Freya. I don't know how you racked up so many points. Fruits of my training, I suppose. Regent! Please forgive my intrusion. I bring urgent news from our king. The king of Bermesia? Sire, you must not let him see you like this. Take a good look at him. An injury has blinded him. Continue. Our kingdom is being attacked by some unknown force. We are severely outmatched. Please send reinforcements immediately. The enemy looks like an army of mages wearing steeple-crowned hats. Dun dun dun. The king and I are old friends. We will send reinforcements to Bermesia immediately. Thank you, Regent. The king and all of Bermesia will be most grateful. I must return now. Ugh. Take him to the infirmary. It's too late. He's gone. It's a miracle he even made it this far. I can't believe this is happening. This is a problem. Because of the festival, there are hardly any men left in the castle. It will take time to mobilize. We have no choice. Call back the 4th Aerial Division patrolling the border. But if we recall the 4th, we will lose our eyes over Alexander. Quack, quack. Bermesia is our ally. We must help them. Steeple-crowned hats. They might be black mages like Levi. It can't be. Could it be Mother? I must go now. I cannot sit and wait for the reinforcements. I'm coming with you. No, this doesn't concern you. What's this? I'm a stranger all of a sudden? I'm not going to sit back and watch your home get destroyed, alright? Oh, I suppose it's about time that Zidane does something noble. His, he, his hero status was actually starting to be in question. Thank you, Zidane. Um, can I come too? I want to find out who they really are. Sure. Alright then, let's go to Bermesia. Princess, this is a foreign matter. It has nothing to do with us. Steiner is right. We don't know if Alexandria is involved. But if black mages are involved, Zidane, you know what I'm talking about. If mother is behind this, I'll make her stop. I promise. I think you should stay here. What? We don't know what to expect there. I've already faced great danger coming here. What's the difference? Dagger, this is war. A lot of people are gonna die. I know that. How did you feel when you saw that Burmesian soldier die just now? I felt sad, of course. Just sad? Weren't you scared, too? Obviously you haven't realized how dangerous this might be. You could get killed. This is no time to be talking. That was the wrong voice. This is no time to be talking about convincing your mother of anything. But... Now is not the time to argue. He's right. We must head to Permesia at once. Will you open the Dragon's Gate? Of course. If you're going by foot, leaving from that gate is the best way. Let us eat while we walk and wait for the gate to open. I'm so hungry. The Festival of the Hunt Feast is one of our oldest traditions. It began well over five centuries ago. It is customary to eat everything with your hands, so go on before it gets cold. Thank you, Uncle. 
And everybody starts eating. Mmm, it tastes so good. Let's just eat. We can't do anything until the gate opens. You're right. Hey, not bad. This is wonderful. Princess, how is everything? Why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Everything is so delicious. Indeed it is. Especially this beef. It is superb. Oh, I'm so full. I'm getting sleepy now. And they start passing it. Yeah, you're... What the... The food is poisoned! How could I be so careless? I'm starting to feel sick! Forgive me, princess! I should have tasted it for poison! It's impossible! There shouldn't be any in your dish! What? Now that you mention it, I feel just fine! How did you know? Princess, you didn't! It's not poison. It's just medicinal herbs and aim you. Believe me, this was not what I had planned. Steiner, I have to make my own decisions. I had no choice. Uncle Sid would never let me leave the castle. That is because he is concerned about me. I understand, but... No, you don't understand. War is a terrible thing. You must never experience it as I have. I'm sorry, Princess. I cannot follow any orders that might put your life in danger. What if Alexandria is behind the attack on Promethea? It could lead to war between the three great nations. Many innocent people will die. As the Princess of Alexandria, there must be something I can do. I have to help Mother. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Very well. Princess, I will follow you wherever you choose. Thank you. Let's go before everyone wakes up. I'm sorry, Zidane. Come on. Dagger. Where are you going? must have been some sort of sleeping mess. It was sleeping weed. We've been had. I gave her some because she said she was having problems sleeping. I'm impressed. There's more to her than meets the eye. Damn, what the heck is she thinking? Maybe she's heading to Bermesia. Then you might still be able to catch up with her. Vivi, wake up. We're going to Bermesia. Let's head for Gizamaluk's Grotto probably butchering that pronunciation. Once we pass through the grotto, we will be in Bermesia. You can leave from the Dragon's Gate, located on the base level, block. So, let's head to the base level. I'm honestly impressed with Dagger managing to slip sleeping drugs into everyone's food except hers and Steiner's. That was... That was actually kind of cool that she managed to pull something like that off. And we get on this one to go to the uh, Dragon's Gate. And a save point. Our first save point in a while. I got a letter from Stiltskin. Do you know Stiltskin, Koopa? From Stiltskin to Moonti. I left Limblum and headed north. I walked through the mist when Gizamu to reach Bermesia for the very first time. It's raining, as expected. I wanted to look for shelter. I went to Bermesia? Might be dangerous there, Koopa. Let's see if he has any mail for us to deliver. Nope. 
Well, this video is already about 40 minutes long, and there may be bonus footage appended to it, depending on if I decide to make that a separate video or not. So, I'd say it's time to end for now. Oh, as usual, thank you for watching, I love you all, and I will see you next time. Alright, I have decided I am now showing you how we can make Vivi win the Festival of the Hunt. And Vivi currently leads with 61 points. Oh, I, I didn't mean to go back in there. Vivi is currently leading with 61 points. So get into this fight. And just wait. Obviously, I'll cut the waiting out of the final video, but seriously, we just need to survive this thing for eight minutes, and Vivi will win. Okay, we have about 80 seconds until the end of the time limit, and I'm gonna have to use another potion. I've gone through quite a few of them, and you may notice Zidane's trance gauge is emptier than it was when we started. Yes, he managed to take enough damage to go into trance, spend enough actions to go back out of trance, and then build his trance gauge back up to almost 50% just in the time we've been waiting. This is a somewhat tedious method, I'll admit, but it does get the job done. Only about a minute or so left to wait. And I'm just gonna keep burning through potions, we have plenty. Alright. Of course, it is important not to kill the enemy, because that could potentially drive Zidane's score high enough to make him win. We don't want Zidane to win. I'm going to use Detect just for the hell of it. And it isn't carrying anything. I actually did steal an ore from it during the time skip, just to have something to do. But five more seconds. Two, one, time is up. The time is up. And I was wrong. Apparently, I didn't realize this. Apparently, who is in the lead can actually change depending on during battles. The whole festival will just continue happening during uh, all of your fights. I did not realize that. Wow. Well, this is definitely going to okay. be Vivi is leading at the moment, and as you just saw in the previous segment, apparently just stalling a fight out doesn't work. So, let's see what happens if Zidane is knocked out during the fight. And my microphone is displaced because I accidentally pulled my mic cord. I'm keeping this take anyway. Screw it. Well... I can make Zidane attack himself. And that's that. Zidane is lost. Zidane has retired. <laughs> I don't really think this was particularly marvelous. And... Freya still wins. It looks like you actually have to put a fair amount of effort into getting BB to win. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, let's try doing this in a slightly more complicated way. So, we've just arrived in the business district. VV is leading at the moment. And I'm just going to allow that to continue. I'm going to ignore this fang to my left. I'll need it later. But I go back here, fight this fang. I'll admit, I do really like this song. I like the festival. It's a good thing. Uh, 
And for good measure, I'm going to kill this guy too. And Zidane's health is getting low, but that shouldn't really be a problem. And Freya is still leading, and I didn't mean to open the menu. Now we run back here. And Vivi is being chased by something. We kill the enemy that Vivi is being chased by. And now, while Zidane is leading, the score can ch the fight will continue while we're in a random encounter, or even if Zidane is knocked out, as we demonstrated earlier. So now I'm going to fight this Fang, and I'm going to lose to it, because rescuing Vivi from the Fang that he was being chased by should be enough for him to win. So I'll exploit my knowledge of the fact that Zidane can attack himself. And that's the end of that. Zidane has retired. Let's see if this worked this time. And apparently that was marvelous. Winner at 128 points. And apparently it's still Freya. There must be something I'm not getting. Okay. I officially give up. This, trying to do this has held up the recording process enough. I'm done. It's apparently a lot more difficult to do this than I thought it was. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time when we actually progress with the game. As usual, I love you all.